where I found the cheapest prices for you to pay for these perfumes so that, you know, we can take a little bit of the guesswork away from you, okay? The first one that I have is Noah, and I want to say it's pronounced Cacharel. Mm. Here's a little picture of it so that you can see it. This is an old school one, okay? So this one is very powdery and it's also musky, okay? But then it has that Freesia, Lily of the Valley, uh, Jasmine one two combination all of those soft florals that come together to make a nice soft musky white floral fragrance it literally smells like when you put the dove soap in your wash rag and you like lather it up the suds from the lather and again this one is old school so it's not like weak like these new school fragrances it has some longevity to it and it actually has a nice little sea ash bunch the next one that I have is called Camille and it is made by a company called Camille Beckman. Now this one is actually the pink soap and that is literally one of my favorite soaps. Not familiar with Dove pink soap, basically it is the Dove soap with some added sweetness from the essence of a rose. But the Camille Beckman actually uses pink carnation which is almost like a softer, non, less vegetative version of a rose to me. But the body mist. It's only like $14 and even though you think that it's a body mist, baby, that little body mist got some power, okay? Nice and strong. It lasts a long time. Don't be like me and just start spraying it like you would any type of body mist. Just get a little taste first and see just how strong it is to your nose. The next one that I have is the infamous J-Lo Glow. Now, some people say it smells like Dove. Some people say it smells like Ivory. To me, it's a nice little combination, but it's undeniably soapy, regardless of what end on the spectrum that you lie on. Dark Soft Citrusy, I think it got some grapefruit in it, and it also has some orange blossom in it. And then on me, it just goes straight powdery, musky, and soapy. There is some rose in it. My skin don't get a lot of the rose. Maybe your skin will, but for me, it always smells like I just took a, lot, a long extremely hot shower with a bar soap and came right on out i think this one has been granted the right to be called an old school fragrance at this point so it got some pretty nice lasting power as well and it's pretty cheap you can find this thing anywhere girl the next ivory soap is made by demeter and it's called pure soap this is the most photorealistic version of ivory soap that you're gonna find but for me this literally smells like not ivory soap wet if that makes sense it smells like if you cut ivory soap in half and you just smell the bar by itself almost bitter out of hydic essence of ivory soap this is it right here and it's actually really cheap Dem demeter doesn't really charge a lot but the thing about it is you want to carry it around with you because it don't last long now i'm gonna hit you with one more even though i said that i was only gonna give you a couple this is literally one of my top five fragrances at all times so i kind of want to gatekeep this but i'm not going it is by toka and it's called julietta julietta is a scent that is very reminiscent to me of the caress bar soap now it has notes of some tulips it has rose in there it also has some green apple in there and even though you're thinking about you're probably thinking the caress bar soap is pink jasmine and orange blossom I remember growing up, my grandmother used to keep this soap in the bathroom, and I just love the way it smells. It's almost like a vintage femininity scent to me. I don't know. I love it. Especially the roll-on oil. It really smells soapy. More so soapy than the actual eau de parfum spray.